Hello everyone, Excedra here bringing you episode 50 of Modern Skyblock 3D Parted, a mod pack by e Gamer. So in the last episode we got everything in the B either done or on the way of getting the material we need to be done. We started Tinker and we went to the nether to get our chickens. Some sweet sweet quartz production producing chicken which is really good because quartz was getting annoying to get and as we move along we'll need more and more and more quartz. Now the problem with chickens is that they need to be bred and right now it's a slow process. In the last episode you saw me breed one. Now uh, I'm not sure which one are the two best ones so I'm going to pop them like this because once they're popped with the chicken catcher you know what, si uh, what uh, strength they are. So this one is found in the nether so it's a basic one and this one is a 3-3-2. So let's put this one in a 332 and let's just feed those two oh now there's a cooldown of a minute and a half so we'll come back to this and this is going to be pretty much what happened this episode it's going to be do a little bit come back do a little bit come back do a little bit come back because chickens take time but in the meantime we're going to be doing uh tinker so i made my tinker furnace a bit bigger by adding some sheared stone at the top and i'm still cooking some more uh, and I'm going to have to empty this pretty soon if I want to start doing something else. Also, I brought, I started producing more lava and I brought it close so that I can be transferring lava when I need to. Uh, I could automate that with a, uh, with a pump, but it's not really worth it for now. So, we'll be, like I said, we'll be keeping an eye on the chicken to make sure that they are bred every time they can. And while we're waiting, we're going to be working on Tinker. And once in a while, we'll check on the bees, even though I'm sure we won't need to check on the bee that much. So the smart output, let me show you the smart output. The way the smart output works is that you put it right here, and then you can use the faucet to leak directly in this. And right now, you can fill this with whatever liquid, so you can store some, some liquid. Let's say I had a little bit of iron left in here, and I just wanted to get the iron out of my system. Well, I could use the smart output to put it here, and you can empty the tank. So let's say there wasn't even enough to make one iron ingot. I could just push it in here and flush it. And then there's, you can add casts, you can add a lot of things. And I don't know, like I'm not sure, I don't remember what's the basin part, uh, what I need to do to activate the basin. Like it's not putting a basin in there. It's probably one of the upgrade, but we'll look at that later. My chicken must be ready for the first breeding. So let's come back here and this one with this one. Then we're going to use the chicken catcher on all three. It has two advantages. When you use the chicken catcher, it also has the advantage of making the chicken grow faster. It's kind of ridiculous, but it works. See, now I have two adults and these can breed in a minute something. So I can get rid of this one and put it back in here, get rid of this and come back to this later. So also part of what I want to do today is I want to be working on trying to clean up and get rid of most of the quests that we have to get rid of. Let me just push that in here and push that in here. I have to make sure that I, it's not filling to the point where uh, it's running out of space. It shouldn't happen, but uh, let's just keep an eye on it just to make sure. So for Tinker, let's continue a little bit of Tinker setup. So one of the thing I want to do with the Tinker is I want to set up the other parts. First off, we're going to set up the Tinker tank. Uh, so seared tank, I don't need that. I need the, that's the seared furnace. That's the Tinker tank controller and that's the seared brick. I'm going to need some more seared glass. So let's just go back here and get a little bit more seared glass. I want nine, ten seared glass. I'm going to need one more. So sear glass is, oh, I'm not on my crafting table, sorry. So sear glass are on my crafting table, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's get all of this back. And I'm basically going to make the smallest tank possible because I really just want to show it. I, I don't really think we're going to be using it for now. So basically the smallest tank you do a bottom layer like this where you put a Tinker Tank controller right here and I'm also going to need a faucet. So let me craft a faucet. 
I always make the faucet the wrong direction. So, uh, not a faucet, sorry, a smeltery drain. And a smeltery drain. And then you can make the next layer sear glass. And the last layer also has to be uh, seared brick, but you can make one seared uh, glass in the center like this. Huh, wait. I thought we could, maybe I'm wrong and you can't put a middle one when it's a three by three. Is it formed now? It is not formed. I oh. think it's going to help if I leave the middle empty. So now the Tinker Tank is formed and can hold 108 bucket. I just want to check if we could put the one on the top in this format. It doesn't help if you're filling it though. Yes, that works. So that's what the sear tank is. And basically if you put liquid in it, you'll see the quantity of each different liquid and you'll be able to see the different layer. So it's kind of a cool display of your liquid. And I remember in another uh, mod pack, I built like a ginormous one of those. I made like, I think an 11 by 11 by 11, which is the biggest one, if I remember that you can make, and it just filled with liquid. It was really glorious to see. So let's go back to our chicken because guess what? By now we must be ready for the next breeding. Perfect. Wait for them to have the kid before you start uh, popping them with the chicken catcher at all. So that's a uh, 564443. The lucky thing is that this one seems to be growing fast. Some chickens sometimes take a very long time to grow, but this one seems to be like growing at a fast pace. Like many stats are updating at the same time. The other thing I want to do is I'm hoping to get another chicken because I want to get whoa first piece of lag and if you look at bottom left at my uh, machines this is like such a weird broken display I didn't update the pack I didn't change anything about the pack so if it's doing that it's kind of worrisome oh another chicken right here so let's chicken catch that one and now we have two normal chicken I don't really care for normal chicken right now let's look at one of the quests if you go to chickens, oh, it's, oh no, it's, it's unlocked, smart chicken. So give a vanilla chicken a book to turn it into a smart chicken. So basically smart chicken are egg layer. They're gonna give us a ton of egg. And in this mod pack, we're going to need a ton of eggs. So it's a good thing to get. I wanna make 10 book because I'm gonna give two to two chicken. And then I'm just tired of every time having to make a a new book. So I'm going to keep a couple on hand so I don't have to do this again. So let's craft the 10 books. Uh, no, that's going to be actually three books. Uh, derp, I kind of screwed up. I needed 30, not 10. Anyway, so now I have my chicken right here. I'm going to grab another. I have another chicken here, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, right here. And uh, I don't want to... Um, Wow, <laughs> I'm going to need a range collector for sure. Uh, do I have any wood around here? Nope, so let's go back there. I want to be able to make some uh, fence because I don't want to mix two type of chicken together. So fences, uh, let's go back here. I'm going to grab one stack of this and three stacks of that. Come back right here and let's just transform half of it into plank. And then the fence are like this, if I remember correctly. No, nope, those are the fence gate. So I'm going to need the reverse, like so. And let's make, let's make a couple. That should be enough. Uh, like this. And I'm going to keep all of that close to where we're working with the chickens. So let's go back here. Careful of not touching the stupid life power wire. And let's just put a fence right here where we're going to make our smart chicken. I can always get new chicken, uh, original chicken, by fighting them either in my base or by uh, throwing egg on the ground. So I'm not worried about transforming both of those. So first one and then two. And then where are my books? I'm going to right click with a book this one and right click with a book this one. Let's just catch both of them. 
and now we have our quest for the smart chicken and we can also start breeding those in a minute 36 seconds so let's come back here these should be ready yep these are ready to uh, breed again do i have a baby yes so let's break them down and see how far we are now so already we have a five six four and a six seven five this is really good progression. It's moving along well, and I'm probably going to get rid of a lot of these chicken that I won't need anymore. So the smart chicken are going to be producing a lot of eggs. So that's how we're going to get a lot of egg because we're going to need more egg for what's going to happen later. Let me just push all of this in here for now. And with all the wood, I can make a crafting table, not this one one more level and we'll put the crafting table right here yeah so that it has access to that let's go back to tinker for a while so this is the tinker tank the last thing that we need is the seared furnace and uh, the seared furnace i need a seared tank right here i need a casting basin i'm gonna need some more uh, bricks so let's just do i still have a lot left so let's just grab all of this and basically we're going to make the same kind of model. We're gonna go one, two, three, like so. And I'm putting them next to each other because it really doesn't matter to me at this point. Like I said, I just want this to uh, get working. So sear tank right here. And now you do the same kind of deal around like this. And then you close the top. Uh, whoa. Oh, this is already working. I, I thought I had to completely close it up. You know what? I don't want this to be ugly. So just for cleanness sake, I'm going to close it all. But I didn't know. I thought it needed to be fully capped. I guess not. And I guess that would make it less expensive if you're making a really big one. So let's just go back here. Do this and this. And now let me show you how this one works. But first guess what let's go back to the chicken just to make sure it's not time to breed again so yeah these it's time to breed these and this one so one two 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 this one already improved a little less faster than the other one and these are should be ready also yeah so let's just breed these and let's see how far we got this time so this time we've got a 675 and a 695. So there's one of the stat that's almost completed. That's kind of cool. Let's show these in here. I'm going to do something else with those later. It just really doesn't matter right now. Okay, so back here, I want to show you how the smell tree works. So basically, uh, it's one that makes direct ingot. Usually you want to use it for powder, like it's really cool for the, for powders. Uh, let me grab one copper ore like this. You can always put the copper ore in the, uh, in the furnace, directly in the tinker furnace here. Or you can come right... Oh, I'm going to need some lava first. Let's go grab a bucket of lava. Right here. And this you can just put directly in here. And it's going to cook into an ingot. And you can put a whole stack. And I think it works on wood if I remember. So let me just grab. Like it's basically anything that a furnace can cook. This can cook. So let's grab 16 wood. And it just takes a little while longer. The problem is that the input output is only through the controller. Which is kind of a problem. And yeah. This will cook into some charcoal. So it's a, way, a good way of cooking stacks for very cheap lava wise. So those things are set up. Let's go again. Oh, we have the chicken quest to claim. So let's claim that right now. And let's do a little bit of chicken quest right now. So let's go back here. I wonder if they're, yeah, they're already ready. So this is kind of going better than I thought, but I'm pretty sure you guys can imagine that this is something I'm going to be doing in my time lapse in the future. The same way, so six nine five six seven five seven ten six. So these two. So the same way that I was doing the um, what's it called again? I was doing the the, the agricraft 
in between my time lapse this is the same that's going to be the same deal because you guys don't want to see me just grow chicken and there's a good reason why we want them 10 10 10 because if they're 10 10 10 they produce way more so now a 2 2 2 and 2 3 2 let's put those two down and we'll make some uh, of the items that you want to make for the chickens and i have another little like spike it's only 15 minutes though so that's kind of annoying because i wanted to at least get to 20 minutes so let's push all of this in here and let's look at the quest book next thing they want us to make is something to breed chicken and a roost roost you can put up to 16 chicken of the same type and tiers in roost to have them generate resource in them so let's me let me grab this and let's search for roost right here so 3a bale let's just the whole stack let's make two roosts for now the reason i'm going to make two roosts is that we have these chicken right here and we have the other one right there so let's just put those two roosts down and they need to be the same level so even though these are not good chicken these are very low level i'm going to grab these two netter one and these two smart chicken just so that i can show you Oh yeah, and you can right click them in, which is kind of cool. So now this is slowly going to make some quartz and these are slowly going to make feathers and eggs. The quartz one, since these are original chicken, they're the equivalent of one, one, one. So they're going to produce only one quartz each. So when this reach 100%, which I'm kind of waiting on right now, it will technically give us two quarts if i remember correctly i don't think there's chance for a third or fourth one so it's going to be oh or it's just one i guess i was really expecting two because i have a stack of two unless the stack is just the speed although i'm not sure about that so we got that done let's claim this and now the claim this and now the next step is collecting from roost the roost collector automatically collects the item from roost in a nine by three by nine area so you only need one of those although uh, i'm gonna need a oh i'm gonna need a normal chicken and i'm out of normal chicken so until i get another normal chicken <coughs> sorry until i get a normal chicken this one is going to have to wait a little bit now let's just do the next level of breeding this is kind of cool i i like i like these chicken because if you remember the number of time I had to do nether quartz to get some, uh, to, to make nether rack and then break down the nether rack, it's been an annoying process. So now getting quartz so easily just like that makes this whole thing totally worth it. So 444, 222, so this one is better. But you can see that these are going not as fast. And I think, if I remember correctly, that... The higher tier the chicken, the less fast it's going to go. Let's just go take a quick look back there, see if we have a new normal chicken, because I'd like to be able to make a roost. So no new chicken here. No new chicken here. I'm just making sure looking around. I don't want to play in these <laughs> power wire because they really hurt last time. And no new chicken whatsoever so i'm going i guess i'm going to have to just keep looking around once in a while to see if i can get some more chicken in the meantime i do know that i'm going to need a hopper and a um a chest so let's grab those two things and i'm just going to bring them over to the other location so that i have them when i'm ready let's push this in here while we're here, let's grab some of the new material. So one of the things that I've been making is playing again with the alchemical fusion table to get some osmium, some ardite, and some cobalt, because we're going to need those to make some of the new type of material that Tinker wants us to make. So let's come back here. We're going to do the last, well, the last quest, the last easy quest that we can do for the chicken, and then we're going to go back to Tinker all the while still reading these as fast as possible mm, i don't like wasting the time waiting but that was close enough that it was worth waiting and are we going to have a 10 10 10 
<coughs> Sorry, I don't know what I had today, but I've been having a dry throat all day. It's been kind of awful. So let's push these two back right here. And let's go do the smart chicken. Oh, this is a cool act. I don't know, though, if this one's the good one. I always found the hat kind of funny. Not enough to try and collect them all, but if I played on a server with other people, yeah, that would be kind of funny, but other than that, it's just some like something cosmetic added to the pack that doesn't give much value. So let's push all of this in here. Uh, this, this, also these, and now let's look at the next thing that we can uh, craft. The breeding chicken. The chicken breeder uses two seeds to breed up to 32 chicken, 16 in both slots. So, I think that's kind of a don't bother with it kind of way of breeding chicken. But what that means is that you can only get one of the stats upgraded. If you're trying to get this done as fast as possible, it is not the best way of doing it. Because at some point, you're just going to be, uh, you're going to have to come back in here and take the chicken out, but you're also going to need to get new type of chicken. So basically you put a chicken here and a chicken there and you put some seeds in here and there's going to be love making and chicken's gonna get created. <clears throat> but we're going to see that once we start interbreeding different type of chicken. So no need to do that right now. So we're still waiting for a normal chicken to do the rose collector, rose collector, but now we have this tier two chicken that needs the dye chicken to be unlocked. So basically you need a dye egg of each of them. So let's look at a lapis blue chicken. Lapis blue chicken egg. Basically a lapis blue chicken egg is one egg and one lapis. The problem is that if I remember the stats correctly, I think the chance of an egg creating a chicken is one in eight. So if I get the perfect stats of one in eight, it still means that I would need to create eight of each chicken, uh, each color chicken to be able to get it. So well, that's a lot of dye and that's a lot of, uh, of eggs, which is why I'm trying to breed these smart chicken as fast as possible. Because the moment the smart chicken are high level, they're gonna start laying egg like crazy. So four, 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 those are the two one that we wanna keep. Let's put that back here and continue. I think that these other chicken, like the lower level one, I'm just going to end up getting rid of at some point. Okay, so we need to create one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen type of eggs, uh, of colored egg to get one of each because. The next step is going to be breeding chicken. As you can see, we have these basic chicken, we have these tier three chicken, we have these tier two chicken. And I know that one of the tier two chicken, if I remember correctly, I think it's a flint. A flint chicken is a tier two. So let's look at a flint chicken. Uh, no. So we're going to have to unlock um, Tech Reborn to be able to make some of the chicken because 64 flint and one chicken is going to give us a flint chicken. So the coal, okay, so the coal one is one that you breed. And that's where we're going to use the breeding chicken uh, nest. Because we're going to put one log chicken and one flint, flint chicken. But the log chicken is the wood and a chicken and compressed together. So for sure, for sure, for sure, we're going to have to get into Tech Reborn as the next part of this mod pack. I'm not super excited about Tech Reborn because I remember it being an, uh, an overly complex mod pack, but that's what we're going to have to do. Let me just look at the quest book. Quest and under pressure embers. No, it's not even. It's not even unlocked yet. So it's not under pressure. It's not embers. It's not extra utilities. Atomic wizardry events. It's industrial revolution. Okay. Uh, no, it's not even that. Okay. I don't know what it is then. Let's go back to the quest book. So where's tech reborn under pressure embers. 
reborn technology is going to require advanced mechanism and industrial revolution. So I think I jumped on the chicken bandwagon a bit too fast. I really... I don't know what I was thinking. I just knew that I wanted the quartz chicken as soon as possible. And I guess that in my excitement, I kind of forgot that we're not at the tech reborn step yet. That being said, uh, as you've seen, the, the color chicken that we have to create, that's going to take a while. So again, better start sooner rather than later, especially if it's something we're going to be playing on like in between episode or in between recording. Well, no, not in between recording, I mean, sorry, during my time lapses. So let's get rid of these and let's get away from here and get back to Tinker. So back and Tinker now. Uh, true blacksmith. So one of the, f we have all of these metals that we want to create. Let's start with this one right here, Menulin. Menulin is an alloy of cobalt and ardite. So if I come in here and I put one cobalt and one ardite, basically you can find this with JEI. So if I go here for many Yulin and I look at the liquid form and I use the alloying, it brings me here and it says equal part molten cobalt and equal part molten ardite will give you equal part molten many Yulin. Oh, and I don't have my cast. <clears throat> so let's go get my cast. Uh, my ingot cast that we made of i hope i have an ingot cast i think we made one once we were doing this no we only have a pickaxe ed cast hmm okay so that's not a problem we're just going to have to change our plan a little bit so let's go back one of them is aluminum brass aluminum brass is an alloy of aluminum and copper in a three to one ratio and can be used for making cast so that's why we're going to shift our gear a little bit because now we're going to be able to make some cast so three to one aluminum to copper so three nine twelve and three nine twelve so three perfect so we're going to come back here and make the aluminum brass so that we can cast an ingot so let's put the aluminum and the copper and now we're going to take a brick from here like so and we're going to put the brick on the casting table because the brick is going to allow the making of the cast so the aluminum is already melted now we're waiting for the copper while we're waiting for the copper of course chicken breeding No, I didn't let them breed. So remember the mistake I told you guys about to be careful not to do? Well, that's the one I just made now. I didn't wait for the love making to finish. So I ended up not creating, not having the baby. So let's make sure I got the baby this time and break all of this down. And now, so a 555, five, five, a 665, six, 776. Seven, seven, six. So these are the two new ones. And let's show this right here. And you can see that we're already getting significantly more nether quartz and oh, so molten copper and molten aluminum brass. One block to ingot. Did I miss the ratio? Copper and a three to one. Oh, three aluminum for. OK, so yes, I really screwed up the ratio. So let's grab this molten aluminum. Let's make this cast. And we're just going to go get uh, a lot more aluminum now. I don't really want to have that much aluminum brass, but I guess it's going to let me do all of the cast that I want to make. Let's go back here. And let's. So we had three for 12, three, uh, three for nine or for 12. Three, three, three. Let's see how much. And by the way, we now have the cast. So now we can cast whatever we want. Let's grab the Menulin, which is only one ingot, and let's cast that. So now we have one. It's still mixing together. Like this takes a little while. And we're going to need one of molten aluminum. So let's make one of, uh, sorry. <coughs> aluminum brass so that's one of each so technically let let it detect this one's completed claim and this one also is completed 
claim back and so that's two new metals by the way my pickaxe is made out of cobalt i'm probably going to be changing it for maniulin because it's a much better metal let's get rid of this of this and let's continue with the breeding wow did you see all 12 nether quartz that i ended up catching like like i said the fast the higher the level of the chicken the fastest this is going to go so we got two 9 10 10 now so the good thing about the 9 10 10 is that the only place they can go now is 10 10 10 so i should be getting to that step next and let's get these two bread also and that's going to be all of the breeding for those two i think done in only one episode and my chicken catcher is dead wait seven eight seven six six five so these two let's just put those two in here and let's craft another ki uh, catcher, chicken, chicken catcher, chicken catcher. As a matter of fact, let's make, let's just make a couple because we're going to need a couple before this is over. So you know what? I, I have the potential for six. Let's make all six and let's just be done with this. So let's get rid of all of this. And if I come back in here, see, it's still slowly going up and you know what with the eggs that we have i'm wondering if we cannot get a get lucky and have one chicken if this were colored egg i'd be pissed right now maybe finally wow um yeah no come back here i know you're scared because you know what i'm going to do with you but that was a very bad ratio. So let's come back here and then we can do roost to get the roost collector. So uh, it's not a clickable. So the reason it's not clickable is because all of these chicken have their own metadata. So, but it's still easy. You just do it like this, put the hopper, put the chest and a roost collector, which we're gonna let detect. And now if I put it down here, let me come back to my chickens right here. So that one is completed. And now, see, the eggs from here are coming into here and the nether quartz are coming into here. I'll be honest with you guys, this is not fast enough. When you get the max 10 to 10 chicken, that is basically a joke and nothing is going fast enough. Huh, already can breed, so technically I'm going to have a 10 to 10 now. Please give me a 10 to 10. Yes. So, voila. And now, voila. And then breeding is just going to be a question of getting 16 of those. Why? Well, more than 16. I'm going to grab at least 16 because... And that's a big lag spike, so I'm just going to restart after this. But I want at least 16 because I'm going to put 16 in the roost, which is the maximum, to produce the max amount. And I'm probably going to make two more just to keep them um, aside in case I need them for later. So now the dyke chicken is something that I'm going to get stuff ready in between episode four. So I'm kind of done with chicken for a while now. All on, everything I'm going to do for chicken except next episode, make the dye chicken is um, wait for the next episode. Uh, sorry, wait for Tech Reborn to be able to do this. Now, if I go back to a true blacksmith, let's do the next one. The next one is Osmeridium. Osmerism is an alloy of osmium and iridium. Oh, did I forget to make iridium? Iridium. How, how do I get iridium in this pack? Alchemical? Yeah, right here. So did I not make iridium? Oh no, okay. So I cannot make osmium ingot, osmeridium ingot. The reason I cannot make osmeridium ingot is simple. I need, a uh, I need Iridium, and the only way to get Iridium that I know of is Iridium Ore from Tech Reborn, which I don't think we can get in any way uh, because there's no world, or with Frozen Iron Ingot and something unfamiliar yet that we need AR for, and I don't know what AR stands for. If I come here and look at, at this, it's not, AR is not under pressure, it's not mechanism, oh maybe it is, no. At, so I, I don't know. Let's be fair. I just don't know. Until that is unlocked, I'm going to be stuck on that one. It doesn't mean that I can't complete the others. 
So if I go back to a true blacksmith, uh, next one we can do is Alamite. Alamite is an alloy of aluminum, iron, and obsidian. This one is an annoying one. So Alamite, and the reason it's an annoying one, it's because of the ratio. So if you look at the alloy, basically it wants two millibucket of obsidian for two millibucket of iron for five millibucket of um, aluminum. Yeah. So let's come back here. Let's just check that. We still have some copper, so we have seven copper. Seven means one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that should be all of it. And I'm not going to want to export all of that one by one. So I'm just going to take the easy way out and make, I think I can make two block. I think I'm even going to be able to make three block of this. Let's come here and start another block and let's go back there. So we have an aluminum, we need some iron and we need some obsidian. The problem is I don't remember how much obsidian gives. So let's grab all of the obsidian that we have and a stack of iron. And we're going to start with uh, melting an obsidian. So if I come back here and I put one obsidian, we'll see how many millibucket that gives us. Let's grab this and that. I want to keep some aluminum brass in there. And the reason I want to keep some aluminum brass is that I want to have some for the next cast that I want to make. But still, I don't want to have a big amount of it because I'm going to run out of space. So the copper still mixing with the aluminum and I'm thinking that yeah, it's over. So we have all of that. So I'm going to have one obsidian. I'm going to do one iron ingot. I'm not going to put any aluminum though because and that's why I had to wait for the aluminum to be gone because let's say the aluminum wasn't gone and we had an obsidian and an iron ingot then everything would have mixed together and it would have been a mess. Let's come back here. So that should give me my second ten 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 chicken. Hello. And now we have our two ten 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 which are those two and now we don't need to pick up the chicken anymore because we know that whatever chicken we breed are always going to be 10 and 10 because the, they always improve, always, always improve. Well, in this mod pack, I don't know if it, that's the case in all mod pack that has chicken, but in this mod pack, they always improve. So seven, oh, so that one's good. So nine, nine, eight and seven, eight, seven. So basically we're going to have max boat chicken in one episode. So that's not so bad, but considering the number of chicken that we're going to be making, uh, it's going to be a lot of work. So let's come back here. So now we have one ingot and one block of obsidian. It doesn't give me the milli bucket. Oh yes, 144 and 288. So I need two iron per obsidian. So two iron per obsidian. And if I go to alamite, uh, right here, alloying. So it's two, two, and this one's five. So this one is two and a half the other. Considering that it's 44, two and a half, here I'm going to need two and a half aluminum, which is not possible. Uh, no, not two and a half. I'm gonna need one, two for one iron, another two for a second iron. So that brings us to four and a fifth one, and that should be good. So technically this should be a perfect ratio. So it should be five aluminum, to two iron to one obsidian and yes it perfectly transformed into alamite and when i told you that my pickaxe was going to be made out of uh, art um manulin i have to check again the uh what the alamite is because i'm not sure that the alamite is not better so let's put another one of this just so that we get a little bit more so that should give us another three ingot and let's just turn that quest in and you know what, I'm just going to put these in here and I'm going to try not to forget because I think I have a lot of loot chest to open. So let's get rid of this in here and also get rid of, sorry, get rid of these. Perfect. So next quest is uh, Night Slime. So Night Slime is an alloy of iron, purple slime and seared stone. We do have purple slime and there is some seared stone already in here. So let's grab some purple slime. I don't know how much I'm going to take. So we're going to have to check the values for this 
one the ratios for this one also let's look into night slime ingot night slime right here so the night slime ingot is i totally forgot to restart and now it's 40 minute let's just finish this one and we're going to have to call it here come on give me my night slime so Searstone 144, Liquid Purple Slime 125, and Molten Iron 72. So half an ingot of iron. Great. And I, I think, oh my god. <clears throat> I think I'm going to have to restart, which I don't want to. So a slime ball is going to give me 250 and, was it 255? Ugh. This is going to be... One of the reasons why you love the smart output, because this is one that we're going to want to get rid of quickly. Hello. So in here, now that this is all alamite, I'm going to put, uh, you know what? I'm going to restart because I want to craft the last two alloys that we can. And uh, I want to just tell you what I'm going to do in my time lapse. And this lag is not going to be acceptable. So I'll be right back. And I'm back. So let's complete these. So we were working, we did the Elamite. The next one is Quest, um, a true blacksmith. So the next one, it was the Night Slime. Okay, so for the Night Slime, let's put one Slime Ball in here. And it was, one, let's put one Iron. And it was, whew, I'm, I've just looked at this recipe, but I already don't remember it. So Seared Stone, Liquid Purple Slime, and Molten Iron. So let's look at this and liquid purple we're just waiting for the iron the iron takes longer and that's kind of a cool thing every metal has a different uh melting time like some are faster some are longer which is something i always found kind of cool let me just go back here do i have my pickaxe cast yeah let's just put this in here while we're at it and we have some alamite let's just make a alamite pickaxe I think it's going to be much faster and much better than our cobalt one. I'm not going to replace it if it means that we lo lose our smooth silk, though. Uh, so, mining level cobalt, durability 700, mining speed 6.8, attack 5.5. Might be interesting. I don't know. We're going to have to look into it later. Let's just push that in here. Come back right here. And molten night slime. Huh. So this is my Alamite, this is my Molten Brass, this is my Seared Stone. I'm kind of surprised that it made all of it. I, I'm surprised that I don't have a little bit left. Let's just cast one ingot of that and well, oh, wow. Look at this, 68. Let's breed these two. And now what I'm going to do is, I'm only going to do the kid. And the reason I'm only going to do the kid is I want to put it back down as an adult. So 114. 21 second, 20 second, and that's the breed time. So basically, because it's 10, 10, 10, it's a much faster breed time. But do you see how they just keep spitting those quartz? Oh, and look at all of these eggs. Like This is really great. Although you don't want these in your world, which is kind of why you need the roost. Let's pick all of those. So that's 787, 10, 9, 8, and 9, 9, 8. So this one and that one let's get rid of these oh too fast push all of this in here oh look at this this is this is so cool this is getting us a lot of material and already i can go make the next one and we'll come back to you later so this is a night slime ingot so quest a true blacksmith night slime ingot pick up the loot chest back so now there's the us meridium that we can't do. The us glow glass is still locked. I don't know why. Oh, because I need osmium alloy. So requires and osmium alloy. Don't know which one is locking this, but whatever. So the next one that we can do is Mirian or pig iron. So let's look at Mirian. Mirian is an alloy of all the Botania ingots, cobalt, and glass. Mirian. This one looks like a pretty amazing one. I don't think I've ever used it, so I'm going to be looking into it. So 
18 of Terra Steel, 18 of Mana Steel, 18 of Elementium, 18 of Cobalt, and Liquid, 125 of Liquid Glass. Wow. So, Cobalt, Elementium, Mana Steel, Terra Steel. Let's go see if I have some of each of those. I'm not even sure that I have one of each type of ingot, which means I'm probably going to have to make them uh, for the next episode if we don't have them. So let's come back here. One, two. Huh. No! So we don't have a Terra Steel. So we're going to have to make a Terra Steel and if, let's just check, I don't remember how the Terra Steel is done. Uh, sorry. Yeah, the Terra Steel. So the Terra Steel is done from the uh, the magic. So it's basic. Oh, I'm going to need to look at the book. But if I remember, it's one of these, one of these, and one of these. So I'm going to have to prepare this in between episode. So one of the things that I'm going to be preparing in between episode is going to be my um, everything to make the Mirian. So the last one that we should be able to do is the ouch, the pig iron. So let's go back here and search for pig iron. And that one's on like until I learned a trick in Forever Stranded, I really didn't know how to do. So we need molten clay, blood, and iron. Oh, come on. I just restarted you. Come on. And molten iron. So let's come right here. Let's grab some clay. Let's grab eight. And let's grab a couple of these rotten flesh. And yeah, that's the trick for blood, if I remember. I hope it works in this mod pack. So let's come down here. What do we have? So we have our molten iron. Let's add a slime ball. This should melt really fast. And I'm doing that to get a second night slime ingot. really don't know why we would want the night slime. Slimy, metallic, but also stone, whatever. I don't know that it's necessarily good. So that's another ingot. So that's done. Now that this is done, Let's put an iron, a rotten flesh, and a clay. And let's see. It might not be enough. I don't know the proportions per se, but let's try this to begin with. Molten clay, one gives one gives one ingot, so 144. So we're going to have too much clay. And blood, it gives 40. What's the 40 about? That's exactly what... Oh, I forgot. I forgot to put back the torch. I, I don't want to have to fight you. You're really annoying. It's just. I don't want to kill my chicken. That's the problem. Okay, let's go away because I don't want to die. This is really annoying. I completely forgot to put back down the um, put back down the light. So now this spawn. So great news though for this, the rotten flesh gave me exactly the amount that we needed. So we should already have our pig iron, and there's one bucket of pig iron right here, ready to grab. Hey, goodbye. You're dead. Perfect. So let's go back to. Let's get back to our chicken, which now is making so much stuff that I basically cannot, wow, cannot approach without having my inventory filled. So this is going to bring it to some more. Let's come back here. I have the place to grab those. I just needed to make sure because I don't want to be stuck. So 998, 1098, 1099. Okay, so these are the good one. These are almost 10, 10, 10. And if they're not... 10 10 10 now they're going to be 10 10 10 by the time i finish uh, my time lapse for this episode for sure so let's get rid of all of this and let's come back here and grab our big iron i always love that it has the little uh, pig eyes on so let's grab this loot chest claim it back and so now we have all of this done in the next episode we're going to do the smart upgrade oh sorry we're going to do the smart upgrade. We're going to do the basin upgrade. 
we're going to, I think, be able to make a fueled smeltery and we're going to be able to make the Sterling engine. So we're going to complete Tinker in the next episode and I don't think we're going to be able to complete bees, but that would be interesting. But this is, um, I thought this is the one I wanted to start, but let me look here. So yes, what I'm going to do in my time lapse, that was important and I almost forgot. So let me come back here. Let's get rid of all of the metals that we have. All of this, these, I'm going to get rid of the slime ball here. I'm going to grab all of this because we're going to open them. I'm going to go back this way and get rid of all the materials I have on me while remembering to breed all of these chicken because I want to get to 1616 as soon as possible. Oh, this one's not ready for another 21 second. So let's get rid of some material. You know what? I'm going to turn that off just so that it stops bringing stuff into my inventory. I'm getting rid of things here that I shouldn't be getting rid of here, but I just want, I just want to move on. I just want to be done with this and go to the next step. Well, to, to my time lapse explanation. Let's go back here and get rid of these. So in my time lapse, what I'm going to do, I'm going to be making some potions of instant arm. It is that one of them. So splash potion of decay. That's not, uh, you know what? I can use those. I'm going to be restarting my mob farm. I'm going to go right here. I'm going to rearrange the mob farm so that I can kill the mobs. I'm going to remove all of the spike and I'm going to be restarting my mob farm because I want to get ectoplasm. Because if I look at the line of quest, the next one I should be doing is either embers or under pressure or the power of the star. And power of the star is going to unlock extra utility, which is going to make everything about, uh, it's going to make all of the uh, automation so much easier. So I really want to get to extra utilities as soon as possible. Once we have un uh, unlock extra utilities, I'm even thinking of jumping ahead, doing extra utilities, and then coming down to embers or under pressure. And the power of star is a kind of magic mod. It's really cool. So I'm really excited to get into that. So I'm going to be coming here. I'm going to take my weapon. I'm going to get a sword and I'm going to be killing the mob with the swords. And the moment that I get a little ectopla, well, a little ghost, I'm going to back away and I'm going to show this splash potion of of uh, decay and I'm probably going to make some splash potion of arm just in case of instant damage so I can kill them easier and I'm going to do that hopefully until I get a ectoplasm but I'm not expecting to get an ectoplasm in this uh, in this time lapse I think it's one of those things that's going to take a while longer in my time lapse I'm also going to be uh, putting all of my combs in here so that I can start getting my silk wisp. I really want to know. Um, oh God, it broke down four and I only have two. The drop rate doesn't seem right. That's kind of crazy. I'm also going to keep an eye on this because these, we need 216. And since they produce really well, I'm thinking that this is probably the next one we're going to be able to do sooner than we think. So let's look at this. And okay, so the pollen cluster is going faster than the royal jelly, but if I'm looking at it, it seems to be going along well. So let me come back here, bees. Yeah, so only these two are left. So everything is dependent on the silk wisp and on the pollen cluster and the royal jelly. So I'm going to make sure that I always refill this place so that it's going along as well as possible. See, I don't even have two. So this is going to be 17 when I get my 18. Hello, give me my 18. Oh God, the 60% drop rate seems to be a joke. I don't know if I'm being unlucky or if this is normal, but this doesn't seem like 60%. So basically I'm gonna take these and I'm gonna bring them here and I'm gonna be putting them like this and getting these woven silk. So this is only two. So this is two woven silk. Hello? Oh, I'm out of water. I'm, I have to reconnect this at some point. 
Oh, wow. This is ridiculous. Okay, so this is producing my woven silk, but as you can see, I don't even have enough woven silk to be able to make the boots. That's how crazy this is. So let's come back here. Let's look, did I have any more reward from the last time? Nope, so I had open all of them. So let's do this quickly. And we're going to end the episode here and go into the time lapse. A very short one. Colored lands. Chance it could uh, run something up in a core. Instant stick. Colored lands. Artifact loot bag. Nothing really good right now. Uh, oh, trash can. Trash can fluid. So that's actually good because we could use that to void some of the gasoline. Another up and core. And finally, four void transport pipe. Artifact loot bag is a search of quartz and a lost tablet. So nothing interesting whatsoever. Let's dump all. Let's dump all of this in here. We don't really care about this for now and we'll get back to that. So that's going to be it for today's episode, which is an hour long episode. So I think I'm going to have to go light on the time lapse. O-M-G. <laughs> yeah, this, this is a crazy amount. This is going to go so well. So I'm really going to be uh, getting all of the quartz that we need now. And all I need to do is get these to having 16. And once we have 16, I can just break all of them and put them in the... Um, in the roost right here this must be full no it's not full because it's not going as fast with the lesser chicken so let me get those two and i'm just pushing the envelope just because i'm having so much fun i just want to continue 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 so now 10 10 9 10 10 10 10 9 8 so next one's going to be 10 10 10 and 10 9 8 10, 9, 8, 10, 10, 9. So I put down the right one. And you know what? I don't need those. So let's just throw them out for the garbage. I don't think that they work in the creation of roost or stuff like that. So let's get rid of this. I'm going to need some chest here. I'm going to need some drawers, I mean, pretty soon to be able to fill everything. And this... Wow. I don't even know how many are in here now. Let's just... Oh, <laughs> look at all of this. How many was that? That's exactly 16. Oh, so technically I'm just too quick. I'm going to have to wait to be able to breed two more, but I can take these out and put these 14 in. <gasps> look at this. Look at how fast I'm producing nether quartz. So I won't even. This won't even be able to pull the nether quartz out of here fast enough. So every once in a while, I'm gonna have to come here and just click to remove the resource from it. That's how crazy this is. I'm, I, I'm shocked, but a good kind of shocked. Like this is really surprising to me. I'm gonna love chicken, and when we get chicken, all resources are just going to be a joke. Ooh, look at this. What a weird rendering. Huh. Anyway, I'm just moving from one thing to another. Let me come back here and look at this. So guys, quick repeat, in my time lapse, I'm going to be uh, trying to kill, rearrange my mob farm. Well, get these 10, 10, 10 to 16 so I can put them in the roost. I'm going to be arranging my mob farm so that I can start killing monsters so I can try and get my ectoplasm. I'm going to, I think I'm going to try and empty this because what's the point of keeping all of this in here? And I'm going to do a pass to make sure that all of these are empty and put in here so that we can produce the material as fast as possible. But it's going to be a really short time lapse because I've always really gone way overboard. So guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye now!